Lord Sakai. Is that you? I'm surprised you recognized me. It's been a long time. We haven't seen you since... The duel with the Ronin. A day not easily forgotten. Lord Shimura wanted to make peace. The Ronin had other ideas. Your uncle did plenty for us over the years to make up for it. But enough of the past. What brings you here, Lord Sakai? Just recently, there was some voice lines published on YouTube that included some cut dialogue and actually a cut flashback from Ghost of Tsushima. The only dialogue that was published was Lord Shimura's, but there were multiple characters a part of this cutscene. So I wrote up dialogue to fill in the blanks, and hopefully we can recreate what this flashback may have been like. Omi Monastery. The monks have prepared for our arrival. Why is this Ronin so angry with you anyway? He blames me for his father's death. Is it true? What happened? A leader makes many difficult decisions. His father openly defied me, inspired defiance in others. So he was a traitor. You only did what was necessary then. Will you treat this Ronin the same? A true warrior knows when to spill blood, and when to practice restraint. My lord, you've come. Where is Kamatari, the Ronin? He's waiting for you, at the clearing before the great statue. He wishes to duel, then. I do not wish to disrespect the temple grounds. I will try to talk sense into him, but I cannot ignore a threat. How do we conduct ourselves at the duel, Jin? Each opponent meets each other face to face, and they draw their blades together out of respect. Then it is a fight to the death. And no one may interfere for any reason. What happens if I lose today? You lose? Ha! Huh. I could never imagine you losing a fight. Answer the question. Oh, well, I guess I would avenge you. And... Continue your legacy. Good. Remember, observe, but do not take part. Go, take your place. It's about time you showed up. I meant no insult, Kamatari. We can resolve this without steel. Can we now? What words will redeem you from the blood on your own hands? I'll show you who's the coward. Jin Sakai. I should have known the whelp would be here too. All the better if I kill you first. Jin, defend yourself! You disobeyed me, Jin! He insulted you and our entire family. Were you just going to let him do that? He was trying to provoke me, but you took his bait and disgraced both of us. I'm... I'm sorry, Uncle. I don't know what came over me. Come, Jin. You were afraid. And angry. Our code arms us against these emotions. It helps a warrior focus, clear his mind and face death with honor. What will you do next time you are tested? I will remember the code, be mindful of my emotions, and not let them control me. Very good, Lord Sakai. Remember every detail. We will review this duel in our next practice session. Yes, Uncle. I can think of a couple reasons why this flashback was eventually cut from Ghost of Tsushima. First would be a pragmatic concern, in that I think Jin was meant to be a bit older when this flashback happens, maybe between the ages of 18 or 20, 
and that would mean that they would have to make another character model for Jin, which would be used only in this short flashback, so I think they decided it was not worth the effort when the other flashbacks proved the same points about him and his character. Also, a flashback involving a duel would have essentially been a second tutorial, and a bit redundant that way. Also, I think that this scene was cut because it draws Jin in too much of a bad light. As much as Jin had issues of emotions and insecurity, I think the writers decided not to use such a violent scene, basically involving murder, to portray his issues at such a young age. This ties back to a final reason, which is that I think it foreshadows the main story of Ghost of Tsushima a little too much, especially that big plot point of Jin eventually defying Shimura and being branded a criminal. I don't think they wanted to portray Jin as having such major issues of obeying in the past, or to show him as having some sort of bad history with his uncle before the events of the main game. So I think they preferred that they would keep Jin innocent and that his dark side would only come through from a serious event like the Mongol invasion. Technically, the duel with the Ronin is still canon, which is why I wanted to recreate it in the first place, but I can see why it was removed and only hinted at to leave most of it to the imagination. What do you think? Should this flashback have been left in the game? Let's chat in the comment section below. And thank you so much for watching. Take care.